good day to all of you next we shall solve module 2 questions so question number 3 a explain the difference between combinational and sequential circuits with their block diagrams and examples so it carries 5 marks the block diagram of a combinational circuit is as follows so this combinational circuit has in n inputs and m outputs so these n inputs are known as n variables and these m outputs will be expressed in terms of n variables so for each output one boolean function is written that boolean function will be in terms of n number of input variables so this combinational circuit will be made up of logic gates and the output at any time here depends only on the inputs present at that time this combinational circuit doesn't have memory elements okay so example for combinational circuits half adder full adder half subtractor full subtractor multiplexer demultiplexer encoder decoder these are the various examples for combinational circuit next we shall consider the block diagram of sequential circuit so this is the block diagram of sequential circuit it consists of combinational circuit means sequential circuit also will be made up of logic gates but in addition it will have memory elements this combinational circuit and memory elements together form sequential circuit the previous output of combinational circuit which is stored in memory element forms the state of this whole sequential circuit so the next output of the sequential circuit depends on what externally are coming as input and also the previous state means which is stored in memory elements which is fed as one of the inputs here so next outputs depend on the external inputs and previous outputs of the sequential circuit okay that is what is sequential circuit the examples for sequential circuits are timers and counters so here whatever so far we discussed combinational circuit is made up of logic gates only the output at any time depends only on the inputs present at that time in combinational circuits combinational circuits do not have memory elements the examples for this adders subtractors multiplexers demultiplexers encoders decoders okay so sequential circuit is made up of logic gates and have memory elements the output at any time depends not only on the inputs present at that time but also on the previous outputs these previous outputs will be stored in memory elements which define the state of combinational circuit so hence the output at any time not only depends on external inputs but also on the state of the circuit or content of memory element or previous outputs sequential circuits have memory elements combinational circuits do not have memory elements sequential circuits with memory elements they are having they define the state of sequential circuit okay so that was the solution for question 3a which was asked for 5 marks next question number 3b what are decoders implement the following boolean functions with the decoder this is for 5 marks so the given functions are f1 of abc equal to sigma m this is mean terms 1 3 4 7 then second function f2 of abc equal to sigma m of 0 2 3 6 and third function f3 of abc equal to sigma m of 2 3 6 7 <laughs> so we have to state what is decoder and implement these functions using decoder so the solution is first the definition a decoder is a combinational circuit that converts binary information from n input lines to a maximum of 2 raised to n unique output lines a decoder provides the 2 raised to n min terms of n input variables 
implementation of boolean functions which are given all the given functions are of three variables hence 3 is to 2 raise to 3 3 variables 3 is to 2 raise to 3 that is 3 is to 8 decoder is needed to implement the given function of three variables along with or gates so the implementation is as follows 3 is to 8 decoder is taken the input variables given in the function are a b c they are marked here three inputs and eight output lines which are the min term lines m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 right so when a b c are 0 0 0 this m0 will be asserted active all remaining will be inactive so when 0 0 1 only m1 will be active all remaining lines will be inactive so that is what is for any input here any one line will go high or low active low or active high in case so that is what is in another words it is generating min terms for three variables possible number of min terms are 8 m0 to m7 that is what is 3 is to 8 decoder internally which is a combinational circuit it will be made up of logic gates now to implement the first function it is having min terms 1 3 4 7 hence m1 is taken m3 m4 m7 all these are taken and they are logically ordered what is the meaning of function f1 equal to sigma m of 1 3 4 7 only for these min terms the output will be asserted active okay that is why only those min terms are taken either for m1 or m3 or m4 or m7 the output will be true here so they are logically or this is how using 3 is to 8 decoder and one or gate f1 function is implemented similarly the given f2 is having min term 0 2 3 6 so m0 is present here so m2 is taken then m3 then m6 okay so this is m6 they are all logically ordered and that is what is implementation of f2 equal to sigma m of 0 2 3 6 and the last function f3 which has mean terms 2 3 6 7 all right so here we have min term 2 and uh, this is what is 3 and 6 and 7 logical or of these min terms that is f3 this is how using 3 to 8 decoder given three functions f1 f2 f3 are implemented that completes the solution of question 3b asked for 5 marks next equation number 3c what are multiplexers implement the boolean function f of a b c d equal to sigma m of 1 3 4 11 12 13 14 15 8 is to 1 multiplexer max means multiplexer it is asked for 10 marks so we have to implement this four variable function using 8 is to 1 max and before that we have to define what is multiplexer solution first the definition a multiplexer is a combinational circuit means that is made up of logic gates that selects binary information from one of the many input lines and directs it to a single output line so it is many to one combinational circuit in that on many lines what input is coming and that is which is selected by selection line that is directed to single output line so a yeah, mux has to raise to n input lines n selection lines and one output line okay next we shall see to the implementation of this function so to implement the given boolean function with 8 is to 1 mux first we have to write the truth table so these are inputs a b c d f is the output according to the function given we have to fill this means for all combinations from 
zero 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 for four input variables. Sixteen possible combinations are there. Those many inputs we have to list. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So these are the min terms. M not to M fifteen means totally sixteen min terms are possible for four variables. So they are written in the truth table in the form of different combinations of input. Then for each combination of input, so here one zero one zero means min term ten M ten. This is zero means this is not there in the given function. One zero one one. This is min term eleven. This is present in the function, hence it is one written here. So if you observe here, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen min terms are present. So there in the truth table, the output is written as one for those min terms, but which are not present here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are not present, hence. The output is written zero for those min terms, and similarly for one, three, four, one is written. That is how truth table is prepared. Next step, we have to divide min terms in groups. In each group, two min terms. So this m not m one. So zero 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 one m not and m one one group. So Second one M two and M three second group. Similarly M four and M five third group, and so on. We have grouped the two min terms in one group, starting from M not. Then for each group, what we have to do? So we have to observe F that is output, how it is according to D input. So F is zero, F is one in the first group. If you observe D input, also it is zero and one, so it is same. F is same as D, hence this is written as D here. Okay, and that input is called as I not. Now what we are doing? Inputs of the mux are expressed in terms of one of the input variables that is D. So F is expressed as One of the input variables that is d here. F is zero, d is also zero. F is one, d is also one. Hence, f is whatever d is, and that we have taken as i not for the max. Similarly, next in the second group, f is zero, d is zero. F is one, d is one. Hence, f is whatever d is. That is taken as i one. That is for second group. Next. In third group, f is one, d is zero. f is zero, d is one. So f is whatever d dash. d is zero, d dash. If you take one, d is one, d dash. If you take zero, means f is d dash. Similarly, for fourth group, f is zero irrespective of d. Hence, it is zero. f is zero irrespective of d. Hence, f is zero in the next group. In next group, f is whatever d is. f is one irrespective of d. Again, here f is one irrespective of d. We have listed here whatever f output is in terms of one of the input variables that is d. Now we have the inputs for mux i not as d, i one as d, i two as d dash, i three as zero, i four as zero. I five as d, I six as one, I seven as one. So I not to I seven eight input lines of the mux in terms of input variables d we have, and this is what is implementation of the given function f in using eight is to one mux. Eight is to one mux will have eight input lines I not I one I two I three I four I five I six I seven. One output line that is F, and to select any one out of eight, so three selection lines will be there. This is the LSB bit of selection lines S not S one S two. These are taken as A B C. These are the three input variables in the function. 
this is msb bit that is s2 that is taken as a here b this is c what is remaining d so input variables we have already found in the truth table that i0 is d then i2 is d dash so i1 is also d i5 is also d okay so here i0 is d i1 is d then here i5 is also d hence i0 i1 i5 all are shorted and they are given d input then i2 is d dash so from d one not gate is connected here d dash is generated and that is given to i2 i3 and i4 are zero so i3 and i4 they are given to logic zero connection i6 and i7 are one so i6 and i7 they are tied together and they have given they are given logic one input so this is how the implementation of given function using 8 is to 1 max is done that completes the solution of question number 3c which is asked for 10 marks first we have to define multiplexer what is multiplexer then a given function is implemented using 8 is to 1 marks that completes the solution of module 2 questions question number 3 abc question number a for 5 marks b for 5 marks and question number c for 10 marks totally for 20 marks okay i hope you understood thank you